Hey everybody, Ed the Impala guy here back on the uh, Copart project car. Um, we started on the uh, rust spot side and um, let me uh, let me kind of take you for a little tour over here. We did a little cutting um, and let me kind of explain what's going on here. This area here I think I've, sh I've shown in previous videos was rusted in this area here and they had just uh, Slap some Bondo on it and a little bit of foil tape over the back uh, to kind of back up the Bondo and let her rip. And um, obviously that did not work. And it, it uh, the Bondo started bubbling and popping and flaking off and uh, there's nothing but rust underneath it. The bad part is, is that it is part of this wheel arch here. And uh, let me point the camera where you're, you're pointing, Ed. Um, is part of this wheel arch there is a double panel here the actually the inside of the trunk is right up in here or uh, yeah right up in there um so there's some some challenges with this and unfortunately i mean the easiest thing to do would be to go to an impala chop out this uh, whole section here and just you know uh, glue it in kind of like i did the other side although like i said with the double panel here it, it does present a few more challenges so I thought to myself self where could I get uh, this wheel arch because <clears throat> this is gonna be the toughest part I mean if it was just a, a little 90 degree bend here um, it would be no big deal we just get any piece of sheet metal and, and bend it 90 degrees and be done with it but we have this this wheel art point the camera Ed we have this wheel arch here and it comes down to about here and then it goes straight and in here, right about here, is a flat piece with a square cutout um, for the bumper to attach to. So, what I've decided to try, at least, before I go cutting, because the only the only intact side I have, you, you can obviously see there's nothing that can be used on this side, which is unfortunate. Um, although if this side was usable, this car wouldn't have been totaled and this wouldn't be my project car, it'd be somebody else's rebuild project. But I do have an intact side on that car. Um, I just don't know whether I'm ready to, um, to cut into it yet or not. We're not there yet. So here's what I came up with. I basically ripped off the rest of this quarter panel here. Um, we already took that side of it for the patch on the like side of, uh, of the car here. And I went ahead and cut out the rest of it, including the wheel arch. And I drilled out the spot welds, separating um, or combining it to this inner panel here. Because not only do they have spot welds, they have this goofy ass uh, adhesive, foam adhesive. So what the plan is, is to use this portion of the wheel arch as the wheel arch portion. We can then cut it straight and bend it as we need to. And then, you know, the top will just be a square cut, um, whatever we need to be. Now, yeah, you know, I, I took more, much, much more than I will ever need. Because um, if we take this over here... You can see that, oh, actually you can't see anything now. There we go. Um, we're gonna kinda use this here, and, and we've got plenty. Ed, point the camera, all right? You can see how, you know, we've got the wheel arch here. Um, we can go like all the way to there and look at how much extra we have down here we don't probably need to go that severe we can probably just you know cut it right there here and then you know something something along these lines right about here so anyhow there's gonna be some uh some measuring and some cutting and some figuring and then what we'll do is we'll sneak um 
backer up in here and down here. And then I will probably uh, attach some metal here. We'll get rid of all this rust. We'll cut out this rust. We'll attach some metal here. And this is easy because this will be a simple like come down, bend, come down, bend. I might even be able to use um, some of the metal from that side. Um, you know, as just a patch because this has the same thing here. It, it comes down and it bends under. You can see up under there. And we could use that to patch um, the rust spot on the inner panel there. Um, that doesn't have to be cosmetic at all. That just has to be fixed. So anyhow, just a little update as to what the next step is. Um, we're going to be working on, on this side and um, hopefully this side's going to take a little bit longer than the driver's side. So just because there's going to be a lot of, a lot of figuring, a lot of measuring, a lot of, you know, where am I going to bend this? How am I going to bend this? Um, how much am I going to cut out? Where am I going to cut it out? I don't really want to get too overly zealous with cutting apart this uh, quarter panel back here. Um, I just want to get it to where um, we got this covered. Because you can see the rust pretty well ends right about here. Um, the really bad rust. Um, this is pretty solid right here, so we're good. Anyhow, uh, we'll get rid of this um, this rust here, and like I said, we'll do something with that. But that's a little bit of update. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this uh, up on the internet, let you know what's coming, and um, we'll follow along with, you know, you can follow along with this and see how I do. Um, kind of Kind of excited to get it going. Okay, wow, talk about a, uh, an abrupt uh, ending. Sorry for the uh, abrupt ending uh, on the outro there. Uh, my phone rang. <laughs> it immediately cuts the video off when the phone rings. So anyhow, uh, we're going to get started on this uh, passenger side here, uh, kind of the way I detailed it out. Um, follow along, hit the like button so that uh, more people get to see this video and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed and if you are thank you very much for your subscription uh, also click the notification bell and uh, you'll be uh, getting notified of uh, any of the videos that I, I post up and, and we're going to do a little bit more regular updates as you can see it was only a couple days ago I posted the other video and now we've already started on this side and I'm uh, just posting a small update um, so anyhow Tune in and uh, we'll get this thing going and this will be hopefully the last of the body work uh, before we finish the car off. Talk to you soon and have a good evening.